Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to going into episodes 17 and 18 of Omegami oh SS. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. I think I just fucked up. Hold on. We're going to do that again. Take two. In 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. That's better. So her story might be out ass. I hate having a big ass because it just makes my butt hurt all the time. Her story might be almost similar to Kaoru's because it is the, you know, the best friend still ever thing. I love how this is already different because she's the one who's talking and it's not Juinchi going back to like where the park was and getting stood up for like the gazillion time. So good opening. Good, good opening. I I'm already liking that. Props to that. But once again, no one can beat Mori because Mori. There's so many pictures of them together. Well, that's when the sister right there. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. It, it did. You just <laughs> snoozed it. Yeah, you go back and go get whatever you need. Oh, huh. Oh, that's the worst place to get stuck.
Do we need to? That, just the awkward way. Yeah, yeah she's stuck. Get your bag too, please, honey. No, you dick. Her belly is lower, boobs are up. Thank you, though. Uh-uh. Mm. Better hop that fence, girl. Mm. Oh, she's definitely... This shows Orihime. <laughs> oh, baby. How many, is that her second? Your third, honey? Air diet? I wonder how that's going to work and how that's going to last for her. It is. Right, and honestly, besides, sweetie, you look fine. <laughs> uh. 
Oh, he does, though. <laughs> it's always, we typically, for us girls, we're either doing it for ourselves or for a guy to notice us. So, never do it for a guy. Do it for yourself. Boys, same thing. Do it for yourself. The girl will like you regardless. Be yourself. Because that's what I like. Yes, I like you to, you know, impress me and shit like that. But, you know, just be yourself. As long as you, you know, you got money and I got money too, that's another good thing. But. <laughs> Not the dirty magazine. Good. <laughs> you drop this. No, that's sweet. <laughs> Cause he knows you, babe. Yeah, you want to join? Make it kind of like a double date. Damn, you know what this is making me also want? Uh, you know, okay, besides cake, I want a donut. <laughs> saving it.
You going to Salem? Well, cause you know, there's not really a lot of guys and like, like chubby girls and such. And so, you know, you typically guys want a stick figure. Hey, hey. Oh, no, that's a sister. Mm. Uh, no, read the room. Read the room. Read the room. <laughs> oh. Well, Maya, you always walk in at the weirdest time. <laughs>
I'll say, like, seriously, all of her weight just goes to her boobs. Like, ugh, it's not even funny. Girl, I say that too, and then nine out of ten, I don't do it. <laughs> Anyway. Oh, he made it bigger for her. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, real cool. she she's adorable. She's literally me. Once again, as I said in the previous two episodes, I was like, this is probably gonna she's probably gonna hit home for me a lot because she is a chick who's just trying to lose weight and stuff because she's not the typical stick figure characters like Morty or I can think of like someone anyone else like I she has curves. She's curvy. And such. And she, but she's really cute. And I hope that she knows that. And I'll say this for everyone. Once again. Don't lose weight for someone else. Lose weight for yourself. Always love yourself. We've talked about this with this damn series. And really every other damn series that I've watched and stuff. But. Um, if someone says anything bad about you. Saying how you look. Take it one ear out the other throw that shit away if you want to look a certain type of way that is fine there is nothing wrong with that about wanting to be super skinny uh, not please don't be anorexic i do not encourage that please do not know but just when you have that situation with food just always do in moderation make sure you do eat vegetables and such drink some water Mizu is good as fuck, guys. I know that there are a lot of people out here in the world who are like, I don't like water. I don't like the taste of water. I love water. Water is so good. Even though when I had this, I had juice in this cup. Didn't have water, but I still love me some water. Please tell me that was not Jimmy and she like fondling a meat bun like it was a boob. <laughs> Not the fondling of a meat bun. Oh my god. That's why she's like a kitty toe. But also the fondling is just like this. It's like a good minute. Oh my god. Ugh, men. <laughs> it's like how... Like me, I, I'm like, cause uh, we we're not really gonna have a conversation about boobs, not not with this series, like no. But I hate, like, I'll, I'll say it like this, cause I've said it before. Okay, now mind you, this shirt, and my shirt, yes. Once again, I literally hate having big boobs because like every shirt that I have looks like looks either weird or it looks highly fucking sexual when I am not trying to be sexual as fuck, and such. I, I mean, I remember. I had this one shirt, like, kind of a low top, but I, I loved it to death and stuff. Rest in peace to that shirt. Um, I remember, like, having a conversation with someone, and I kept telling them, like, hey, yo, look up here, not here. Like, no, don't do that shit. Stop. So, once again, relate to her, because, yeah, curvy, you have big boobs, but the biggest thing is that you, like, I, I used to hate about myself, and she probably was in that mindset, too, is your boobs and stuff. Or just having just like an hourly glass figure because you feel like your body or just the way you look is not the greatest and stuff. And that's why, you know, like a lot of us go on diets and stuff. 
Um, how, like I said, she did the same thing as me, where she's like, I'm going to start my diet tomorrow. The one thing that I hate about, like, diet culture and stuff, because depending on what it is, like, not everything always fucking works. Um, I remember a couple years ago, I think it was one show that I was watching. Um, but of course, like, this thing that I'm about to talk about has gotten, like, huge. A.K.A. Um, mock buns. Um, where, you know, of course, people eating the video camera and such and just like shit. I used to watch those religiously and I would do that and it would kind of make me like full in a way to the point that I wouldn't eat. I remember like I think about a good 10 years ago um maybe about 20 2015 maybe 2016 um I hate to say this so this is going to be a little trigger warning for people right now uh my mom kind of accused me of being or doing like oh I'm eating food and then I would go ish um and I looked at her like are you kidding me and I told her I was like no I was doing this like I was I was cleaning the bathroom and because I dumb dumb had the door closed <laughs> and such yeah chemicals in a room together ah <laughs> no don't do that <laughs> we, but we all did that we all did that collectively um, but I had told her, I was like, no, this is what I was doing. I was like, please don't ever really accuse me of doing that. There have been days where I, I hate to say it, I have not eaten or I've starved myself because of the fact is like, I'm trying to lose weight. And of course, but that is the wrong way. You don't want to starve yourself. You always need to eat. Your body needs nourishment and stuff. So you always should eat. Just, it's more in moderation and such and so that's why like I feel like maybe not only myself but so many other people in the world they have like the weirdest relationship with food um because one thing that I still do now um is sometimes like so at my old job I wouldn't eat until maybe about so let's say I go home at four right so I wouldn't eat until maybe about 12, 1 o'clock. And then, um, or sometimes I wouldn't even eat at all. I would wake up, not have any breakfast, go to work, um, do six hours, come home, and then eat when I get home. And mind you, when you're coming home at 4 o'clock in the afternoon I, and you haven't eaten, you're extremely hungry and stuff. And so I used to eat, like, a lot of shit um, to the point that, like, I would be, I would be hungry, like, once sitter came along, but not as hungry. So now, like, I've kind of changed, like, how I eat. And with my new job, especially, I now get a lunch break. 30 minutes. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> and trying to survive on, like, a certain amount of thing. But biggest thing is, I still need to learn how to eat breakfast in the morning. And eat breakfast in the morning always. So I'm always cool. But, yeah. Hopefully, with her issues of her wanting to lose weight it doesn't get like crazy where it's like that is her conflict as well um but uh, yeah love the fact that we're getting you know another childhood friend to love her cliche eat that shit up but go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 18 all right episode 18 and three two one Don't be nervous. You got this. Yeah, help her. We couldn't have gone to a gym instead, or like the pool. 
Yeah. Gonna leave you two lovers alone. Okay, remember to stop. You, your feet, your feet. Huh. No! Did her skirt go up? That's why I could never wear a skirt when going ice skating or skating in general. I gotta wear me some shorts or pants. Like, yes, that moment is to, you know, look cute as fuck. But at the same time, I am not literally showing everyone all that. You don't need to see. Like, especially what I am wearing. It's in your business. It's only for me, myself, and I. And then eventually me and my future man. Because it'll be for him and his eyes only. <laughs> it's true, though. Now, if I wa I'm like, mm, I'm vaguely so good at ice skating. I haven't ice skated in like a long time. Same thing with like um, skating, skating in general. But <laughs> I, I went skating. Uh, a couple of years ago, I fell on my ass, <laughs> but I still had fun. I was like, I have to reteach myself and such, but <laughs> I, I loved it. It was a good time. <laughs> oh, is she gonna make them gloves? That's so cute. Oh, and just the fact is that it's handmade, like my heart. Should have just been eating your meat bun. Mm. 
instead of fondling it. Please and thank you. That's okay. The good things. Speak of the devil. Time to go back to class. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> yes, you know, we need some testosterone, some backbone. Gotta have that muscle if you <laughs>
Of course. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, boy. Right? Let's hope it's a good plan, though. <laughs> I mean, mm, what the hell are you going to make him do? <laughs> oh, is her arc going to be, like, short? Because, I mean, this is only episode two for her. <laughs> Wasn't this the same sweet sake that your teacher got uh, hella drunk on? in the previous arc. I mean, but you could be, though. Doesn't she look pretty? Yeah, you're looking at her in a completely different light. Yes. Say thank you. <laughs> right. That there is.
Yeah, so that has to be her conflict of trying to get more members. Because something tells me in the end he is going to join. But once he joins, probably that is when she, he's going to confess to her. Aww. Aww. Merry Christmas to you too. I mean, it's water. Hope you like it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. 
to be with you. Maybe next year, buddy. I mean, well, you know, whatever it is. It's probably a date. Obviously. I mean, because, <laughs> duh, what else could it be? Because this episode felt like it was the finale type for her. And such, especially because of the fact is, yeah, the Christmas episode. But no, we're getting that next week. But whatever it is, something tells me it is going to be a day. It's going to be very cute and wholesome. Just as much as... <sighs> Excuse me. The skating day was. I mean, because duh. But you had moments. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the holding in of the boobs. And then, yeah, seeing your panties everywhere. Like, mm. Poor baby. Poor, poor baby. You never want that to happen to anyone because that is the most embarrassing thing in the world. I mean, thank God this never really happened to me. Yeah, that hasn't happened to me. That has not happened to me. Uh, far worse things have happened to me. And, it, I, you know, you wish you could just be like, I just want to crawl under something and die. You're like, oh my God, no, that did not just happen. Like... <sighs> Ah, it's the worst thing ever. But no, they so cute. They were so cute, like, the whole entire time. But yeah, her big conflict is trying to find someone else to join the tea club with her because once her, you know, her seniors graduate, a.k.a. her senpais, it's just her. So it is a lot of, like, ish that she has to deal with. That is, like big big ba baggage and a lot of things to fulfill in a short amount of time you know <laughs> okay so if it is what I think it is they're j he's gonna treat her to some cake I mean you showed a strawberry shortcake so, it's cake. Get her some cake. I want some cake. I'm sorry. I, I want everything right now. I want all the sugary-ish because I my, my craving. Oh, my craving. Girls, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Because, oh my fucking God, I hate my life right now. Like, Jesus Christ. I just want to, once again, crawl under something and die. Because, ugh. Goodbye. Just God damn it. But other than that, guys, that's my reaction to towards episode <laughs> 17 and 18 of Omegami SS. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Patreons and next Saturday for everybody else for episodes 19 and 20. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.